Welcome to People Tech, the podcast of the HCM Technology Report. I'm Mark Pfeffer. My guest today is Michelle Jakoski. She's Senior Vice President and National HR Technology Practice Leader for Hub International. They're the fifth largest broker in the world and serve all lines of insurance, as well as a number of financial services. We're going to talk about the impact COVID has had on business and business technology on this edition of People Tech. Michelle, thanks for joining me. You know, we're recording this in um, August 2021, still trying to work our way through the COVID-19 pandemic. And in talking to a lot of people lately, it's very clear that they're they're looking at their jobs, their careers, you know, their responsibilities as being in two buckets, pre-COVID and post-COVID. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? I mean, how has your job changed in the last 18 months? So that's a great question. And uh, I'm no different and have certainly um, put a lot of thought into that, you know, pre-COVID, um, when I think about just the first few months of last year, and, you know, I was traveling almost every week, whether it was, you know, visiting vendors or visiting other hub offices, um, you know, or going to, to, to prospect meetings, you know, to suddenly um, being stuck and working in an office when I wasn't traveling and having the what I would call luxury of working from home. But it was at my discretion when I wanted to work from home. You know, now fast forward, we're at a point where we've been home every day now for the last it feels like 10 years, but it's probably only been about 17, 18 months, uh, you know, and, and being behind the camera all the time, you know, as opposed to out and meeting people in person and relationship building. And it's very different, you know, trying to build relationships, you know, via camera, uh, you know, when you don't have the opportunity to, you know, to shake hands, to, to go have coffee or lunch or, you know, a cocktail at the end of the day um, with folks. So it really... You know, I think we all thought that at this point in 2021, we'd be in a different place, right? That we would have been back to the office and maybe not 100%, but, you know, life would have gone back to some sense of normalcy. And I think we still don't know now what normalcy really is, mm-hmm. right? We, we thought we were getting there, you know, and all of a sudden now we're faced with this Delta variant and, you know, companies are pulling back again and, and Hub is no different where, you know, you can go in the office if you want to, but there is no um, uh, demand or, or need for you to do that um, un- unless you want to. And and we're not really traveling again either. So um, we got out a little bit, which was nice. Um, so I think going forward, as, as someone who runs a, a national practice, you really ask yourself, you know, how, how am I going to make an impact going forward, right? How am I going to manage my team um, of folks across the country? But you know, how are we going to make that impact with, with our customers? And how are we going to, I think, strengthen our relationships with the vendors that we work with? Now, you know, COVID imposed a lot of changes, obviously, which you've just described. But how about changes to the way we have to do business, the changes to client expectations? Um, has that impacted your technology strategy or how you're approaching um, delivering your services? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I guess good for us, you know, the, the pandemic has, you know, accelerated the need for employers to digitize, you know, those that didn't have a digital footprint, you know, for their HR functions um, are scrambling, you know, to, to make sure that they have, you know, a, a really positive and easy to use employee experience. So that, you know, now they're because they're having to reach folks, you know, from not only from the recruiting standpoint, but onboarding and, and, you know, maybe, you know, from from hire to retire, you know, in in a whole different fashion where, you know, you'd have used to have people come into the office and do an interview. And, you know, yeah, it was just a whole different experience. So we've seen um, within our practice basically a, a doubling of you know the amount of ask and engagements from our clients and also we're, we're um, seeing that you know from from new business prospects as well where you know one they're not necessarily trying to solve a benefit problem they're actually trying to solve an hr tech problem and how can we help them with that um 
And how, how do you approach that? <laughs> so we're all in sales these days. Um, you know, so it's it's important for us to understand what the need is. You know, a lot of times they don't the client doesn't exactly know what it is. They know they need something. Um, so we really, you know, do uh, spend a lot of time with them to understand what they're doing today, what systems they may or may not have in place, and what their ultimate goal is. You know, because today now it might be an employer that was in an office with 150 people, uh, but now they're all going to be remote forever. So, you know, how do they attract and retain employees and making sure that the process, again, from from hire to retire is one that promotes a positive you know, employee experience. Um, I recently was uh, talking to a prospect um, of, a, of a fairly large institution and the comment was, and it is, you know, you'd think today that most employers, you know, have a fair amount of technology. There are still scores of them that do not. Um, and, you know, this was a high level individual who said, you know, my onboarding experience at this institution was abysmal, almost to the point where, you know, I, I was rethinking, like, is this a place that I want to work? So, you know, those are real areas of opportunity for us to, to come in and say, well, you know, we, we have the subject matter expertise to, to come in and then take a look at what you're doing today and bridge the gap to where you want to be in, in the future with HR technology. You know, I've, I've heard it said a number of times that COVID has basically just sped up changes in HR that were going to happen anyway. Yes. You think that's fair? Oh, that's very fair. Absolutely. Can, can you tell me about why? So I think, again, it's that need to. So right now, Ben Admin has, is a huge piece. So especially in the in the smaller end of the market, you know, say 150 to 150 employers that were still doing things on paper uh, for open enrollment are like, oh, my goodness, you know, we can't do this now. How are we going to educate our employees? You know, how are we going to gather the data? We can't have, you know, historically account managers would come in and do their you know, dog and pony show around, you know, what your benefits are, present them, and they collect the forms and, you know, do all that nonsense. Um, so huge need and acceleration in, in Ben Admin, um, but, it, but also with, with onboarding, um, you know, again, making sure that that, that recruiting and um, <clears throat> retention is really important since, you know, where we find ourselves in this time that people are calling the great resignation, mm -hmm. right? Where we're seeing so much turnover. <clears throat> I myself, when I look at LinkedIn every day, and I mean, I know scores of people I've been in this industry for many years, um, and I can't believe the number of people that are changing jobs. So, you know, again, really important that employers have the opportunity to, you know, have systems in place that, you know, are going to attract and, and retain key people. And, you know, has the, <clears throat> has the attitude of employees uh, changed the kind of technology solutions you have to offer? Um, you know, are, are there expectations changing even beyond just working from home? So, yeah, I, absolutely. So, you know, one of the things that we were, um, it's funny, I just wrote an article about this, um, you know, previous to COVID, we were concerned about the workforce and, you know, the drain on the number of baby boomers that were aging out to 65 and retiring every day and kind of dealing with that. Now we're, we're dealing with, with COVID and, you know, the millennials are, are rising up into the, the managerial and, and leadership roles. And then we've got this whole new layer of Gen Zs coming in. And why I say all that is because their expectation is everything's got to be mobile right? And they need to be able to do everything on the fly quickly um, without, you know, without a lot of minutia. And so, you know, really having to, to pivot and change, uh, you know, to accommodate that. Okay. Well, Michelle, thanks very much for visiting us today. Well, you're welcome. My guest today has been Michelle Jakoski, Senior Vice President and National HR Technology Practice Leader for Hub International. And this has been People Tech, the podcast of the HCM Technology Report, where we're a publication of Recruiting Daily. We're also a part of Evergreen Podcasts. To see all of their programs, visit www.evergreenpodcasts.com. 
and to keep up with HR technology, visit the HCM Technology Report every day. We're the most trusted source of news in the HR tech industry. Find us at www.hcmtechnologyreport.com. I'm Mark Pfeffer. Do you love news about LinkedIn, Indeed, Google, and just about every other recruitment tech company out there? Hell yeah. I'm Chad. I'm Cheese. We're the Chad and Cheese Podcast. All the latest recruiting news and insights are on our show. Dripping in snark and attitude. Subscribe today wherever you listen to your podcasts. We We out. Faith in the news media has been challenged, making it even harder to get stories told. The Friday Reporter Podcast was created to help audiences better understand the media by hosting journalists who will answer the questions to which we need answers. Join me every Friday to hear more.